Arriving to northeast Arnhem Land, the Prime Minister was gifted a traditional Yolngu welcome. Anthony Albanese made a pledge to give Indigenous Australians a voice. Now there's pressure on the Prime Minister to deliver. We should cherish it. We should be proud of it. We should celebrate it. And we should recognise it in our national birth certificate, the Constitution of Australia. Many here say it's time for Mr Albanese to lay out the next steps towards a referendum to create a voice to Parliament. It's really important that we, we don't uh, leave Gama uh, without some uh, progress. Community leaders are calling on the Prime Minister to announce detail on what the voice to Parliament would look like and steps towards a referendum. Coming full circle from Malcolm Turnbull's rejection of the Uluru Statement right here in 2017. He's among thousands of guests here at Gulkala in northeast Arnhem Land. Welcome back to these sacred lands after this remote region was closed during the pandemic. Indigenous Australians are hoping this government will give First Nations people autonomy and power through a new advisory body. Here at Gama, the Yolngu people share rich culture and traditions and hold important discussions to progress the future of First Nations people. <laughs> Over the next The festival began hearing from the next generation, bringing Yolnu and non-Indigenous youth together to share in cultural activities. Other people might be learning our culture, Yolngu's culture, and I think they might love it. While Gama has been on hiatus, the Yothu Yindi Foundation has been working to open a bilingual school, which is making a tangible impact for local families. Tupamabaka, which sits on a small community called Gunyangara. Now, in that uh, community is up to 30 to 35 children who are getting a school attendance rate of 90%. Now, that's quite unique in the Northern Territory. On the agenda this weekend, a push for more accurate First Nations history to be taught in schools and the need to amplify the voices of Indigenous women. It's them speaking about their lives and their lived realities to help inform policy designers, service providers, agencies of government and governments themselves in getting it right when it matters. This will be the Prime Minister's chance to spell out his reform agenda for Australia's first people. Hope and optimism that change is coming. Kirsty Wellauer, ABC News, Gama.